Good afternoon, my people. As usual, welcome back to our YouTube channel. And I hope from where you are, you are good. Personally, I'm good as you can see. And I thank God that I'm in good health today. We will continue by looking at a topic we started yesterday whereby we posed a question that is it necessary for people having kidney failure to take statins or drugs that break down cholesterol in your systems? Is it safe? Is it wise? Can they take it? And if you follow this topic, you will get the answer. And before I continue, if you are there and you are watching this channel for the first time, I always remind you to subscribe, which is free. Put the notification bell on, which is free. So that whenever I produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you and will continue benefiting from our education each and every day. And you will never miss any of our videos. I always appreciate also the returning subscribers because they hold this channel together. And the success of this channel majorly depends on them. I also appreciate each one of you doing anything, however small it is, to put this channel ahead. May God bless you. Should one be taking statins when having kidney failure? I've explained what statins are in our previous video. So, how safe are statins when having kidney failure? Heart disease is a major cause of death for people with kidney disease. Remember these three things work hand in, in hand. The heart, the liver, and the kidney. So if, you, if one of them is affected, it affects the others negatively. Heart disease is a major cause of death for people with kidney disease. So that means most of the people with kidney disease will develop heart problems or heart disease. So heart disease is a major cause of death for people with kidney disease, which is why medications to control cholesterol and blood pressure are prescribed. I'm answering the question now. Heart disease is a major cause of death for people with kidney disease, which is why medications to control cholesterol and blood pressure are prescribed. Statins are often recommended as part of this treatment, but the, these cholesterol-lowering drugs are also said to possibly worsen kidney failure. So as long as these statins are important, they have negative side effects. That's why we are saying statins are often recommended as part of this treatment. But these cholesterol-lowering drugs are also said to possibly worsen kidney failure. So, are statins really safe for people with chronic kidney disease? Are statins really safe for people with chronic kidney disease? We are still posing this question and we are looking for the answers. It depends. Sometimes you weigh. 
if the benefits of using statins outweigh the, 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 the disadvantages of using it, depending on the client's condition, then we go for it. If the disadvantages outweigh the, 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 the benefits, then we can say no to it. So, how is kidney failure treated? How is kidney failure treated? That is a question. Can, is it treatable? Can it be reversed? People who suffer from kidney failure who don't receive a kidney transplant receive dialysis treatment, which is a medical process where wastes are artificially filtered and removed from the blood. As I said, and I've been repeating this time and again, kidney failure is irreversible. That means if the kidneys fail, you can reverse them. People who suffer from kidney failure who don't receive a kidney transplant. As we say, the main treatment for kidney failure is that you may get a kidney transplant. One of your friends, your brother or sister can decide to donate a kidney from you. Though, it's not so easy. I've been posing this question to you guys. How many of you have the courage enough to stand with your brother or sister or yeah, is having kidney failure and say, I'm going to donate one of my kidneys for him or her. It's not always easy. It isn't. It is not always easy for one to make such a decision. Because people fear for the worst. So, people who suffer from kidney failure who don't receive a kidney transplant receive dialysis treatment which is a medical process where wastes are artificially filtered and removed from the blood a machine is used to do the functions of the kidneys so the blood is filtered then it's pumped back when the wastes have been removed it is pumped back into the systems when the wastes build up again just go for another dialysis. Medications are also prescribed to treat other conditions associated with kidney failure and include drugs that, number one, let me repeat this again. Medications are also prescribed to treat other conditions associated with kidney failure and include drugs that, number one, lower blood pressure, Number two, control blood, blood sugar. Number three, lower mm. cholesterol. Number four, treat anemia. Number five, relieve swelling from retaining fluids. Let me repeat this again. Medications are also prescribed to treat other conditions associated with kidney failure and include number one, Drugs that lower blood pressure, number two. Drugs that control blood sugar, number three. Drugs that lower cholesterol, the statins, number four. Drugs that treat anemia, and number five. Drugs that relieve swelling from retaining fluids. Remember we have said previously, or in our previous video, that kidneys can also help regulate fluids in their body systems. So when these kidneys are failed, it means that there will be fluid build up in the systems and will cause the swelling of the limbs. That's why we are saying drugs to relieve swelling from retaining fluids should be included in this treatment. For example, the kinds of lacids and relazine and all that. People also often take supplements to protect their bones like calcium and vitamin D. When, when uh, somebody uh, uh, is growing in terms of age, the 
vitamins, for example, vitamin D and calcium start depleting. That's why you see sometimes we give supplements, vitamin D and calcium supplements to the elderly and also advise them to be getting sometimes into the direct sunlight because it will provide the vitamin D also. Because if you decide for, to go for the vitamin D injection, it's very expensive. So, people also often take, take supplements to protect their bones like calcium and vitamin D. So you can take supplements like calcium, like vitamin D to protect your bones. How statins work? How do these cholesterol lowering drugs work? They are, the ones these are called statins. So how do they work? How do statins work? Statins are one of the most commonly prescribed drugs for treating high cholesterol. I hope you get this. Statins are one of the most commonly prescribed drugs for treating high cholesterol. Studies show that they are also effective in preventing heart disease. So another imp important point we have to, 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 to take here. Statins help in preventing heart disease. That's why from the beginning I said, we look at the benefits of using these statins to somebody with a kidney, a kidney failure. If the benefits outweigh the, the, the disadvantages, then why not? Statins are one of the most commonly prescribed drugs for treating high cholesterol. Studies show that they are also effective in preventing heart disease. So they have an advantage of preventing heart diseases. When high levels of low density lipoprotein, all bad cholesterol are present, they can begin to build up in your blood vessels causing blockage. This is very important. When high levels of low density lipoprotein all bad cholesterol are present, they can begin to build up in your blood vessels causing blockage. So this is why we used this statin so that the cholesterol levels can be reduced, the cholesterol can be broken down to avoid blockage of the vessels. This marks the end of our video today. Thank you for following me. Thank you for the support you are showing to this channel. So let's continue subscribing, liking and sharing these videos so that they may be recommended all over the world. As I always finish by saying, if you have, been, you have given your topic that has not been discussed, don't be discouraged. One day, one time, it will be discussed. Have a lovely day ahead.